think the young generation must just go out there and just don't stop, you know, don't give up on what you want to do. You know, for me, I've been a very resilient athlete. I've been a very non-giving up athlete, you know. I place fourth, fourth, fourth. And I've been coming back every year to come back and place fourth again, you know. And I think they should take from me, one thing they can take from me is that I never gave up and I don't ever give up, you know. So if you have a dream, you have a goal, set yourself to it and don't give up, you know. There will be a breakthrough at the end of the day, you know. Um, um, I ha have this image of, um, there's this image where there's two miners in a, in a cave. The top miner, he's digging, 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 and the bottom miner is also digging for, uh, for diamond. Then the bottom one decides to stop, he decides to stop and turns around. But that time, if he had continued just to hit the ground two more times, he would have found big diamond. The other guy at the top is continuing digging and the diamond is further on. Mm. So it's that, that to me says, just don't give up. Keep on digging. Keep on pushing yourself. What's good, everybody? It's the GOAT Aaron Brown. And before this video start, be sure to become a member of my channel by hitting the link down below in the description, as well as following me on Instagram. It's linked down below in the description as well. And let's jump straight into it. In this video, I will be talking about the best short sprinter from South Africa and South African history, Akane Sambine. He's been in two Olympic finals for the 100 meters, as well as five world championship finals. But the sad thing about this whole ordeal is Akane Sambine is the best short sprinter in South African history. And mind you, South Africa has a population of over 60 million people. So to be the best short sprinter there is a large feat. He has a PR of 984 and 100, as well as 1995 and a 200. But despite all of the fast times, despite him being one of the best in African history, despite Africa being super huge, Akani Sambine, in the grand scheme of things, have accomplished absolutely nothing. His PRs would have got him medals at plenty of championships, from Olympic Games to World Championships, every single year. But he never can run good when it comes to finals at championships. Hence the reason that he's been running at a very high level for many, many years, but has zero medals. A guy who runs 9-8 and can run it consistently should have at least a bronze medal at a world championship because usually world championships are slower and they're usually just guys who didn't perform as well at the Olympics go to the world championships and really run slower times and get medals. But the fact that he's been to five world championships and could not get a medal, two Olympic games made both finals, PRs would have medaled in both finals, but could not get a medal. He's amongst an elite class, but amongst that elite class, he's one of the worst there has ever been in history. And really before last year, an African man had never got a medal in the 100 meters when it came to the world championships. But that changed when a 20-year-old Lasile Tobogo showed up and got the silver medal. And it was sad because Lucille Tobogo only ran 988 to get the silver medal at the World Championships. A time Akani Sambine is very, very much capable of running. Hell, this past week at the London Diamond League, he ran 996. And he showed up and he was nowhere near getting a medal. Now, I'm a firm believer of when somebody show you who they are, believe them. I even made a post the other day to say Akani Sambine can run 960 in the 100 and he still will not be considered to be a medal threat until he shows up and get a medal because he's proved time in and time again that he refuses to get a medal. And at this point, I'm believing, I'm starting to believe that he's allergic to getting medals. He's allergic to performing in the finals. According to the late Albert Einstein, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And that's exactly what Kanye Sambine has been doing for over six, seven years. The same thing over and over again and expecting different results. He starts his outdoor season 
which it starts in South Africa, like right after February. So the first week after February, he starts running outdoor. So he's expecting to hold on to his peak from February until August, which is simply insanity. But the fact that he does this year in and year out and expect a different result is utterly embarrassing. And South Africa should have been moved on from him and anointed a new guy to become the man because he's proved that he just simply doesn't have what it takes. Like, why, why after the first five times he didn't get a medal, why wouldn't he start his season later and attempt to peak later in the year? I just feel like that simply only makes sense. But like people often say, common sense isn't so common. And also, he knows that in South Africa, he can still be deemed a hell of a guy by just making finals because they celebrate mediocrity. That's why guys in South Africa who run 10-0 and 9-9, they're considered to be one of the best ever. And when you're a guy like Akane Sambine who can show up and not get a medal, but you can make the final, it's damn near like you the world record holder to them. Because that's the mediocrity that is celebrated out there. And honestly, it's sad, and I feel like they should do something about this. And South African has other guys, in my opinion, not even in my opinion, Wade Van Niekirk is a better sprinter than a Connie Sambine. And there's no debate about that. The 400 is a sprint. The 200 is a sprint. The 100 is a sprint. Wade Van Niekirk is a one-time Olympic champion as well as the world record holder. He's a two-time world champion. He's a one-time silver medalist at the world championships. And two times he made the finals at the world championships and didn't get a medal. So his resume is literally running circles around Akani Sambines. So when people even try to give the title greatest sprinter um, to Akani Sambine, that's just simply insanity and simply moronic. Because Akani Sambine, he's equivalent to Ferdinand Omenyala. Like They run super fast times, but when it's time to run fast and when it's time to get medals and times that's usually slower than their PRs, they simply just can't do it. For whatever reason, you can say their season started early or they're running fast at the wrong time. Now, I'll give Ferdinand Omenyala a pass because he really just started running like in 2020. But for a guy like Akani Sambine, who's been professional for about 10 years now, there's simply no excuse. This is simply inexcusable. And he just needs to give it up and retire. Now, granted, he'll still be making money from South Africa and getting parades and things of that nature by just making the finals, which is embarrassing. Because as a 984 runner, he just ran 986 at the Diamond League meet. And of course, he's going to show up to the World Championships and the Olympics this year and get no medal. And he's going to be celebrated just because he's going to be in the final. When if he was a United States athlete and he got to the final and not medaled for seven, eight years in a row, he will be deemed one of the biggest failures of all time. And then for a guy who is really isn't even a 100 runner like a Wade Van Niekirk, well, I can't even say he's not a 100 runner because Wade is a sprinter, and sprinters can sprint in any sprint event. Wade's PR is only a tenth slower than a Connie Sambine's in a 100. Wade has ran 994. In a 200, Wade has ran 1984, and he's also a medalist at the World Championships in the 200. 400, we damn near don't even have to speak about that. He's a world record holder in the, in the 400 when he ran 43.03. He had the world record in the 300, taking it from Usain Bolt running 30.81 which recently got broke by Lasile Tobogo this year. So for a guy who has meddled in multiple sprint disciplines at the world level, I can't even consider Connie Sam being a, a hell of a guy coming out of South Africa. Wade Van Niekirk is literally the best sprinter, and I mean short sprinter, 100, 200, 400, 300, all of that. He's the best sprinter coming out of South Africa. Akani Sambini has proved time and time again that he's not to be trusted. It's too large of a sample size in him producing the exact same results for him to be trusted. Like I said recently, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. And a lot of people can be naive, like, oh, this year may be his year. Come on now. The sample size is just way too large. We've seen this song song way too many times. We know what this guy is made of. We know what he's going to do. 
and it's going to produce the same results. But that's just the end of my video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Be sure to become a member of my channel and subscribe to my channel as well.